Well, a new early detection system for COVID-19 that has worked in other areas is now being tested in Erie County using wastewater from homes and businesses. As two on your sides, Rob Hackford explains this new method could help identify clusters before they spread. This sampling machine at the Southtown's wastewater treatment plant could soon be the first step in detecting COVID-19 in Erie County. We saw other municipalities that were, were doing this type of work and we said, you know, this might be something that where we can really help and, and contribute to our community in a way different than our traditional ways. And what makes it unique, according to Deputy Commissioner Joe Fiegel, is the timing. While someone with COVID-19 might not show symptoms, 7 to 10 days before being hospitalized, parts of the virus can end up going down the drain. What is really promising about this type of technology is that it's really a kind of a leading indicator as opposed to a trailing indicator like hospitalizations. The samples are taken when water flows into the facility from your toilet, your shower, any home or business that's connected to the sewer system. From there, once tested, UB and the Water Authority can use that to identify where COVID may be prevalent. So far, the pilot program has yielded five samples from 10 locations, including Buffalo, Tonawanda, and three spots around UB's North Campus, where the testing is also being done. Based upon the amount of flow that's coming to the facility, um, a sample would be taken. It's roughly about 100 milliliters. And then throughout the day, th those, those uh, samples accumulate until we have a full 24-hour period. Fiegel says while the results are still being vetted, the program should be finished around early October. What we're hoping is that this can then ultimately be a leading indicator that will hopefully um, really kind of prevent outbreaks from, from occurring because we'll have bit better data up front to be able to, to better target areas in which um, you know, we're starting to see infections. And help the county health department react to COVID-19 before it spreads. In Hamburg, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.